Imagine a time when every telephone call from the Sunshine Coast had to be connected by a switchboard operator inside this small building. And how amazing it must have been for local residents to first hear someone's voice crackling over the line from Vancouver. Hello, can, can you all hear me? This is Harry Wynn. I'm calling from over here on uh, Gibson's Landing. All this only 100 years ago. Shortly after their arrival in 1911, Harry and Lou Wynn began operating the original telephone exchange from the front room of their cottage on Gibson's Way. If you wanted to use the telephone, you would sit down in the Wynn's living room while they made the proper connections to place your call in those days the only home telephone in Gibson's was located down the road at Dr. Ingalls residence throughout the 1930s and 40s telephones became more commonplace in local businesses and private residences marking the need for a larger exchange building Constructed in 1949, the Gibson's Telephone Exchange was built to meet the growing communication needs of the Sunshine Coast community. The building itself was purpose-built with patches on the floorboards that allowed for the main floor telephone exchange to connect with equipment housed in the basement. Here at the epicenter of coastal communication, Operators worked to supply telephone service up until midnight. It wasn't until a few years later that 24-hour service began. Just one moment, please. Let me connect you. In our age of wireless communication, it is easy to forget how amazing telephone technology truly is. Imagine picking up a telephone receiver for the very first time and hearing a familiar voice traveling from miles and miles away. Yes, Harry, I can hear you fine and clear. How's the weather over there on the coast? I wonder what the next 100 years might bring.